What's up everyone? Yeah, I know. I look like crap. I've been working on the greenhouse again today. It's starting to cool off. It was like 80 something. Um, I got the whole roof done and um, got the door on, the screen door on. The whole roof is done. Yay! Alright, I'm going to show you. If I can sit, reach up there and show you. Can you guys see? That piece is all done. Everything is screwed down. Um, this is just sitting here. I have decided that I'm going to make some doors for this right here. I'm going to make some doors so that, so that when the lawnmower backs in, I can close the doors. Um, this right here, I thought, well, somebody's going to peek through and see what we have. But I'm going to cut this. I have a bunch of these. I'm going to cut them off, and I'm just going to put them like this. All the way from the top all the way to the ground. And I'm going to do the same thing back there. That away, if we ever ever have an issue with this shed, which I'll get all this junk out of here. If we ever have an issue down here with the shed, we'll be able to get to it. Um, and then across the back, remember I screwed these on here. I have enough of those little pieces of wood that I can do the whole back. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Then I've decided in here, instead of putting that glass in here, because this is going to be closed in, I'm just going to put vinyl siding. I have a whole bunch of it. I have a whole bunch right there and I have a ton of it. I'm going to do vinyl siding from the ground all the way up to the top. Um, so siding there, I'm going to close the back end with, with, with these strips because I have tons of them. Um, but first, before I can do that, I have to make sure I fix the fence on the side of the house. And then somehow I'll figure out the door later. And then down here, I'm putting siding at the bottom. I'm going to run siding up this middle piece. And then I'm going to put siding across there. Now, I thought I would be nice <laughs> for my neighbors. Um, and I was thinking about putting a piece of lattice across the back. Now, I did cut all them things the same size, except for the little jagged. And I thought about just putting... A piece of lattice up there to make it look good from their back patio um, you know it's not something I have to do but just so they're not looking at some the top of that looks ugly I don't know or I could put a piece of siding up there and just you know it won't be it won't be on their right it'll just be one piece hanging down so uh, that's another option I may do that but we'll see anyways I guess I'm done for the day um, you know, there's a couple spots, like, I had to double this up here because there was a hole. I had to double up here somewhere because there was a hole. Um, and then up here I used some siding, but I am going to put, let me show you. Let me show you if I find a piece. I'm going to put, I want to screw a 2x4 up there, so then you won't see that spot. I'm trying to hold this and film at the same time. I'm going to do the 2 by 4 Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm going to do the 2 by 4 across there, across there, and across there. The rest of this wall on the inside, or on the outside, is going to be siding. On the inside, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put more shelves in, and that way I can put some plants that I'm going to start. That, um, you know, I got all them, I got all them plastic shelves. I have a bunch of white ones. Um, I have this metal one over here. So I have a bunch of shelves. I have this wire right here my nephew gave me. Um, and it actually fits all the way across. All the way across. So, I'm not sure how I would do it because of the window being here. So that's why I'm not sure if I'm using that on this project. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, I think it looks good. I had to get back out here when it when it's warm. It's been warm the last couple of days, so I have been out here. But, um, it rained this morning. I'd like to come out here when it was raining. Just come out and crawl up inside and see. You know, hopefully the roof holds up. If the roof don't hold up, I'm going to have to get some plywood and some shingles. And I really didn't want to go that route. But, if it doesn't hold up, that's what I'm going to do. 
but for now you know hey it's a greenhouse it's gonna be awesome and, and it's almost ready I was watching old videos guys look at my yard it looks like shit I mean this looks awful the mulch is just yucky look we took this oh we took this thing down and um put the new post in and we never put it back up look they put their fence up on the other side now we could take ours down and have that fence but if their fence ever fell down or if they decided to move and take their fence with them we wouldn't have a fence so that's why we didn't take ours down um because we knew we couldn't afford to re you know to put another fence up anyways once it starts falling down we might leave some pieces down who knows there's the garden there's just so much to do I just feel like the yard looks so crappy compared to what it looked like when we first started it looks like shit like I got it cluster cluster I don't want to say that word it's a clusterfuck <laughs> mess this poor sage plants falling over you know if I look in here these things are all dying they look like shit um look at that that's from like I would do that even after I have the greenhouse because that just saves some of my plants that I can move there but I do want to and I should have did that today but I wanted to get the greenhouse worked on um I do want to move all this stuff out of here and start over I got a bunch of um or like like that well the mermaid I want to put by the pool but I got a frog and I got a fairy and I want to put them all up in here and Tyler and I both have been wanting to get two birds of paradise one for that end and one for this end so and then maybe some little stuff in the middle now we wanted to plant it in the ground but um, I think it'll grow bigger if we put it in the ground but Lowe's or Home Depot has some beautiful ones in a pot so I don't know we'll see didn't really want something in the middle that was too high because eventually I want to be able to sit in there and enjoy it once I can get rid of some junk but um I wanted to bring them out here I guess that's all look Terry I still have my ball it's so pretty that thing there I think I found it on the side of the road some of these ornaments are from my girlfriend Lisa she didn't want them in her yard <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I got to go take a shower. I feel and look terrible. I was having a weird pain in my eye, my right eyeball, this eyeball. And then I started having this weird pain in this, this side of my face. It's freaking me out. Anyways, I love you guys. Peace. All right, everyone. So, do you remember how I had this and that back across the back? Now, I just unscrewed it. Took the one piece down. This one's ready to take down, too. Um... I have a different plan for this and hopefully I'm gonna use these these fencing boards I'll end up pressure washing them and then painting them but I'm gonna use them let me see how I can show you I think I already showed you I'm gonna use them across like this but on the outside across um, I'm hoping that now that I think about it that the lawnmower is going to fit in here look we have company hello baby can you see him <laughs> Anyways, that's my plan. And I know these are old. They'll probably only last a few years. But it looks a lot better than them. It's going to look a lot better than them. So, that's my plan. Let's see if it works. I already started taking it down. Um, it did not leak that I know of. I didn't come out here in the pouring down rain. So, hopefully, it doesn't leak. And if it does, we'll have to figure it out. But um, it shouldn't leak. The only place I'm thinking it would leak would be right up in here. And I don't know if it's going to or not. It um, says it's 80 degrees out. I know it's not 80. The breeze feels awesome. Um, the thing is hanging up on that. The temperature gauge is hanging up on that um, canopy there without the top on it. And it's saying that it's 80. It, actually, it said it was 85 degrees in the house. But I think the sun was out earlier. 
it's so breezy and it feels so good and there's the sun um so i have a few hours to try to get this done we'll see how much i get done i got the chop saw out i got the tools out i got the plastic see i wanted to start doing the plastic so i'm not sure how if i'm underneath there i can probably do if it started raining so i think i'm going to start out here with the plastic and um and go from there so let's get going all right everyone i thought i was filming i got them boards out of there i cut a whole bunch of strips to go over the plastic so that the plastic doesn't when i staple it on it doesn't just rip a bunch of little strips So I'm probably not going to be talking to you. This will probably be like a fast motion video. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. All right, everyone. So I measured the front of the, the greenhouse for the plastic. So now I'm over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to have to cut the plastic into pieces. And I'm cutting it two inches longer on each end, two inches longer this way. So that way I can fold it over that cardboard and really get it up there. So that's the plan. Um... The wind's really starting to pick up, so I'm going to keep you with me as long as I can. A big old thing of plastic. I don't know how, how wide it is. It's 10 foot by 25 foot. So 10. And 10. I'm going to lose some pieces if I cut it that way. So I should go 8 foot that way. And then we have. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how I should do it. I'm going to lose a couple feet that I might not be able to use somewhere else. Let me do the bottom first. And then maybe some of that other extra I can use somewhere else. So I'm going to do the bottom first. I'm assuming it's 8 foot or 10 foot this way. If I'm wrong, then, um, then I'm wrong. But I'm going to cut it over the length it needs to be. And then spread that out and see what I got. And this wind is crazy. Okay, so the bottom is going to be 8 foot 4. So by 21. So i got to go 21 inches over I don't screw this up because this wasn't cheap stuff. Twenty-one inches. Louie. Got the the level. So let's go twenty-one. Yep, that's about right. Okay, I'm just going to kind of try to keep it level. I don't know how, how level the plastic actually is. So I'm just going to make a line so that I can cut it right across. If the line works. It doesn't look like it's working. If I had a razor blade, I could just slice it. But the pen worked. Let's see what we got here. So let's see what we got. Ta -da. I don't know how many foot, but let's see. Let me fold it in half and I'll see how many foot. This is definitely the 10 foot piece. All right, so I only need eight foot four by 21 inches. So if this is the 10 foot, I probably should just start with this and see cut off as I go
it's going to be good. It'd be nice if I had a helper, but I don't, so it's okay. I got to run in the house and grab the staple. I don't see it. But I think it's going to be okay. What do you guys think? It's six millimeter thick, so it's pretty thick. Plus the siding is going to go over top of it. All right, everybody, I totally forgot. I bought staplers for the stapler and they were the wrong size. So I'm not even gonna be able to do this job with the plastic today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the job over there. So that's where we're going. Um, I went in, I'm looking around like, where are they? Um, and the staples I bought were too long. They wouldn't fit in my stapler. I think my stapler is ancient. So I think I just need a new stapler. Um, and I think I can get one for 10 bucks. And maybe my staples will fit it. I have no clue. Anyways, I'm going to put the plastic away real quick. Because I don't know what kind of weather I'm going to have here. And um, put this cardboard away. I'm going to get over here and work on that. So you guys are going with me. garbage. It's falling apart and my hands are filthy. Alright, move. Out the way, dude. Out the way. Louie's been digging holes under the shed. Move it. Right, guys I'm gonna go up there I'm gonna grab the wood we're gonna pick the best pieces I am gonna pressure treat it or pressure wash it not today I'm gonna pressure wash it before I paint it I thought about painting these posts dark gray like this and painting the other white and I think that's what I'm gonna do if I have that kind of paint I'm trying to do it with the paint that I have so I'm gonna go grab the wood my chest is just like boom, 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 boom. But this breeze feels good. I don't know if I told you guys, my whole fence is falling over over there. So Sunday, Tyler and I are going to have to go up there and repair the fence. Boy, this breeze feels so good. Hope you guys don't fly over. Damn, I'm going to get the wood. Come on, Lou. Okay, let's 
put it here. I'm just gonna pick the best ones. I'm actually going to probably go get some more. This is a pretty good one right here, especially on that side. I'll put the pretty side in. So here's a good one. Some of it's gonna be cut off, so it really don't matter. Let me just grab some more and um, I'll be back. Like I said, I'm going to pressure wash this so it will look better before I paint it. I don't know what you guys are seeing. I think I'm going straight up and down. I don't know. I think that'll be perfect. It'll be just be like a fence panel. Um, let's see what I got here. I think it would look better straight up and down, but I don't know how I'm going to do it in the side here. So I'm probably going to have to go sideways. You guys can tell I don't know. I just do this. I wing it. I don't really have a plan. Let's see if this one will fit. All right, so I'm going sideways. pencil so that I can mark it off where I need to cut it.
strip it off and put it on. off of each of the end because the end is messed up too. Very Let me cut the piece off the end before I measure it. good. All right, so it might not be perfect, but who cares? All it's going to do is hold the lawnmower. Now, when I get down to a certain point, I'm going to put a two by four where the lawnmower is going to back just in case. I back the lawnmower into the fence. I don't want to break the fence. It's not going to break a 2 by 4 So I will put a 2 by 4 in there. I just have to probably bring the lawnmower over here and everything. Oh, my goodness. So this is turning out pretty good. I get out here, guys, and, and I'm in my element or whatever because I enjoy this. Nobody's with me. Nobody's around. I just get out, I don't have anybody to get in my ear and say, hey, we should do this, or let's do this, or I think you should do it this way. 
I get out here and do it myself, the way I want to do it. Because in the end, it doesn't matter what anybody says. If I have a plan, that's the way I'm doing it anyways. So, I don't know. I want to measure it. I have a gate over there that the guy next door gave me. And maybe the whole gate will fit there. I don't think so, but maybe. I really don't think it will. <laughs> I'm going to try. Let's see what it does. Glasses, what they do? Did I drop my glasses somewhere, guys? No clue. All right, I'm going to go measure the gate, and then I'm going to grab some new glasses. I got new glasses and found my other ones on the ground. All right, so the gate would not fit. Guys, I might put vinyl siding if I have enough once I do the whole, the whole greenhouse. I might put vinyl siding on the outside, even though it's in the back, um, at least it'll look good from the outside. I don't know. I walk back there, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, but I was just thinking I could run the vinyl siding from all the way across on the outside. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Alright guys, so all you're really going to see is me putting up the the pieces of wood so I'm gonna stop the video and um, I will film it again when I'm done guys it's taking me longer than I thought it was taking me my goodness I'm almost to the bottom I'm just gonna go straight to the bottom and then on the inside on the inside is where I'm going to um, put the two by four for so that that way the lawnmower does not hit. I think I'm gonna put it inside the four by fours. You know, not on the outside, but not on this side, but on the inside, somehow. That way, if I back into it, I have to see if it's gonna, see if the whole lawnmower is gonna fit in here. Maybe we'll do that today. Um, if it doesn't rain, it's already four, almost 4.30. So, um, yeah, I'm still trying to finish the bottom. I might as well just leave you guys. I should have just left you there in the first place. Um, look, I could have left you guys right here this close. You wouldn't have had any wind, but it's just tedious because I'm, you know, sawing the wood and then go, going behind there and measuring it and making sure it's right and all that good stuff. So I'll just leave you going if you want. I'm getting close. Look at Louie. He's like supervising. Are you a supervisor, Louie? What are you doing? Are you supervising me? Making sure the screws go in right? Tell me what you're doing. What are you doing? He's just looking like, what the hell are you talking about? Louie's gonna lick himself. Get out of there. Yucky. Alright guys, I think I got one more. So sometimes if you have junky stuff like this, this is junky wood, of course it is, but you need to cover something. This could be a temporary fix for two or three years. So, and if I put siding over it, this might last a good while it's on the outside. So, although it wasn't the greatest wood, it served a purpose and all I, all I need is the lawnmower not to get wet. 
I don't even have to put a door on this shed if I don't want to, but I'm going to. All right, I'm gonna find my last piece. It's done, guys. What do you think? I mean, it's not done done, but all those boards are up. Took me a long time. Let's walk around back so you can see them. And I can pressure wash them and paint them, or I can just, I'm gonna, I was gonna put siding here, maybe, but it'll be last, so in case I run out, I could run it all the way across. So, from top to bottom, and over here, it looks like they're up against the, the pan, the, the thing, but look, they're not. I'm happy with it, and I guess that's all that matters. This right here, I kind of want to cover that and make that look presentable to the people out back, but I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have to worry about the people out back, but it might be an eyesore from their yard. What do you guys think? I don't know why it looks like it's zoomed in. There it is, zoomed in. That's why. All right, so I want to finish, put a couple beams. I don't know how I'm even going to do it. In there, I gotta figure out how I'm getting that two by four in there. And um, maybe we should try to move the the um, mower in. What do you guys think? I need to see. If the, yeah, I need to see if the mower is gonna fit. Should be okay guys. I'm not gonna get a door closed on the inside of this two by four by four. So I made it just a couple inches too small. Let's try and figure this out. I might get one on the outside though, out here. It closes in. can show you guys okay so if you look right here see where the 4x4 four four is but if you look back here there's a little can you see those little things there they poke out the furthest so if I brought this 2x4 up here to hit right here those things right there are still not going to hit this. You know, if I put this on the inside and then I could back up 
and this piece right here that pokes out could hit the two by four. That piece underneath, I doubt it's gonna hit this, but I still could put a piece of wood in between. Yeah, that's what I have to do, just so I don't kill the wall, so I don't knock the wall out. <laughs> All right, so it almost fits. I still have a gate that I'm putting up. Um, hopefully, hopefully the gate can go. I would like for the gate to close in some more. So if I can get it back just a little bit more. I mean, if you look on this side, it's because they're not even. <laughs> they're not even. Um, I might be able to do that. We'll see. I don't know, but I'm going to pull it back out and I'm going to try to get that, that 4x4 in there. Or that 2x4 in there. And then put some slats down those spots there. Because I'm running out of daylight. So I'm, I'm going to be about done here in just, a, I don't know, 30 minutes or something. It's 5.04. Alright, so I'm going to stop you for a little while. Alright, everyone. That's as much as I'm getting done tonight. The back wall's done. I do have the board in for the lawnmower. I was going to leave this here, but it's fixing to rain, so I might need to take this with me on the wagon. Oh! Let me see if I can move. Yeah, so that stuff will go in the back porch. Um, I think I got everything else. Those doors, I'm going to put up by the road probably Sunday. Trash night. Trash night is when, when scrappers come around because they know people's going to lay stuff out that they don't want. So if nobody takes it, then I might have to break them up and throw them in the garbage slowly. But I have no use for them. So I'm going to first let somebody try to take them. But that is done. I got the lawnmower in there. I don't know what I'm going to do with the trailer. I guess it's just going to sit or maybe... Eventually when that corner's cleaned out it can go up there But um, I think I'll be able to get a door It just It might be able to be on the inside see there. I Just don't know about on this side. We'll see I might just have to put it on the outside and it'll be okay if I have to put it on the outside um, So it'll be nice to have the you know a door closed for the lawnmower it's nice not in having to cover it up because like if I mow the grass and the lawnmower is real hot, then I gotta wait a few hours and then try to remember to cover it up. And sometimes it rains. But Tyler got that at Ram Recycling when he worked there. And that was in 2018. He got it, I think he got it for $125. I can't remember exactly, but you know, I think the only thing we've done is we've we've put a new belt on it since we've had it and we put a new switch on it. So, you know, old faithful, we're hoping it lasts two more years till my car is paid off and then we can get a new lawnmower. So for now, I'm done. It's about going to get dark. It's after six. So I got to get this stuff and get rolling in, the, get rolling in the house. I got garbage everywhere. All right, guys. <laughs> That's all for today.